Now, you first knew my next guest as the star of Hercules, The Legendary Journeys, which was the number one show in the world. He's since produced and starred in a series of faith-based films like Let There Be Light and Left Behind, The Rise of the Antichrist. His latest is an inspiring comedy based on a true story, and it's called Miracle in East Texas. It runs in theaters October the 29th and 30th through Fathom Events. I want you to welcome its director and its star, Kevin Sorbo. You can't quit directing. You walk out no, with your camera and you're taking live video so that you... You know, it's to prove to my wife that I didn't come here just to golf. It's... <laughs> She doesn't believe you anyway. No, she'll, she does she'll think not. that that's CGI or something I like know, that. I know, I know. You know, I, I don't know how you stay up with all the things you've got going. You're writing books. Yeah. You're speaking all over the place. But these movies that you're doing, and you're doing faith-based movies, what I find amazing, some of these faith-based movies are doing better than what Disney's got going out there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You know, you know what? You know what's interesting. Speaking of Walt Disney said back in the 1950s, movies and television will influence our youth. Well, I think he was pretty spot on because you see what's going on right now, and he's got to be flipping over his grave what Disney is doing to his name because yeah. this is not what Disney was supposed to be. But they're going to lose over a billion dollars this year. So thank you for fighting back. <laughs> you know, you know, and, and it's hitting them at the corporate level. Their stock price is yeah. the lowest it has been in years and years yeah. and years. Yeah. Uh, people are just, uh, you know, to quote my previous guest, walking away. They're walking away. I, well, Hollywood actually booted me out about 11, 12 years ago. My manager and agent said they couldn't work with me anymore because of being a Christian conservative, which apparently truth and things like that, you know, kryptonite to Hollywood. So what are you going to do? <laughs> but um, I formed SorboStudios.com, and we're doing our own movies, and other independent people are coming to me as well. And uh, I think every movie is faith-based. If you're an atheist, that's a pretty strong faith. That's a good point. I hadn't thought about that, but yeah. No hope in your life. It's kind of sad. But it's a, it's a, I think everybody's faith-based. I, I like my movies to be family-friendly. That's what I'm doing. The new movie that's uh, going to be in theaters the 29th and the yes. 30th of October, Miracle of East Texas. Yep. It's based on a true story. It is a true story. It's about the largest oil find in the history of the world. And it also deals with a few miracles that happened right after it. It's written by Dan Gordon. He's an Oscar-nominated writer. He wrote The Hurricane. Denzel Washington, writer, mm. Kevin Costner. Yeah. 60 episodes of Highwood Heaven. He was just a really great writer. He wrote it originally for Paul Newman and Robert Redford. Wow. Over 30 years ago, but they couldn't find the time to put it together. He came to me. We were lucky enough to raise the money to do it. And it's just, it's won 10 film festivals, everything from best family movie to best comedy to best faith movie. So please, SorboStudios.com, you, get your tickets right now. You brought a clip. Yes. Set it up for us. Tell us what we're about to see. John Ratzenberg is in the movie with me, along with Lou Gossett Jr. and my beautiful wife Sam's in it. You know Sam. Yep. Um, and this, this clip is where we're, we, they would go to widows to get their money uh, and to build these fake, these fake oil wells, so 500% of the shares. And I believe this is the first one where John and I are doing our little flim-flam operations so they can see how we uh, right. get women let's, to get invested. Let's see what happens. I'm a scientist, pure and simple. Oh, I doubt that there is much about you that is simple. Or pure. Uh, what? Tongue of the righteous is as choice silver. That is Proverbs 10, 20. Miss Class, if I, if I might be so bold... On this very property on which we now stand, I believe that there is oil! Oil, dead coming! I've never felt it so strong in all my life! Dr. Boyd, I've bet my life, I, my very soul, and oh, Lordy, it's too strong, I can't control it! You better get him out of the sun. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I think we're not expecting that a true story about oil fields in East Texas is going to be a comedy. Um, I think it's just sort of sort of working out that way. There was just a lot of humor within it. I'm sure these guys, these are, these are real guys. The character names we have, yeah. everything, the woman you saw there, that was, that was a real character. And uh, it's, it's pretty interesting, but there's a more interesting story about this after that oil was found. Because it made a lot, it was right in the heart of the Depression, 1930, yeah. when this happened. Um, Ten years later, when World War II, we are full into it, and Americans were into it, they sent the oil from East Texas over to Europe to keep all the allies so that everything, all their trucks and tanks could keep going, while the Germans, of course, after they got blocked off, 
all ran out of everything. Mm. And Winston Churchill said that the war was won off of East Texas oil. So that is the miracle of East Texas. One, I'm not going to actually... give away. That's only part of it. There's even more. There's even more. I think that's, I want to see it. That story's not even in there. That's <laughs> why we need to all see <laughs> yes. it. Well, before we go, I want to be able to also just, uh, you're looking at a lot of things going on yeah. in our own country. Sure. You have been bold and outspoken in speaking up for traditional values in this country. It's cost you a Hollywood connection. But do you feel that you've lost something or gained something by the stand you've taken? Well, I definitely gained something. I mean, I'm not going to be called up for big Hollywood movies or TV shows anymore, but over the last 10, 11 years, I've shot over 40 movies, and I'm doing movies that I think affect people in a positive way. I get stopped all the time in, in hotel lobbies, airports, and say, we love God's Not Dead, Soul Surfer, what if? Please keep making movies mm. like that. I'm doing it, but we need your support to get these movies out there, because I don't have a $100 million advertising budget like they do for avatars and things yeah. like that. So we need people's support to get these movies out there. That's why people need to go to the theaters on October the 29th and 30th. Miracle in East Texas will be in the theaters those two days through Fathom Events. If you go to Huckabee.tv, we will link you so that you can find the theater near you that will be showing it, as well as how to get tickets on October 29th and 30th. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, I hope you will now. The button is just below this video, and there's a little bell next to it. If you click on those, YouTube will reluctantly start letting you know when we've got a new video uploaded.